Advice may be shifting on taking a daily aspirin to prevent heart attack and stroke. A major medical task force now suggests the risks may outweigh the benefits. The draft recommendation is in a public comment period until next Monday. But regardless of the outcome, a cardiologist with St. Joseph's Health tells me there's a different factor we should focus on before pills. For many Americans, their daily routine starts with an aspirin. But could that pill be doing more harm than good? The recommendation now is coming forth, and unless you have a high risk, aspirin should not be used because the risk of bleeding goes up as your age goes up. Cardiologist Russell Silverman isn't surprised by the potential shift, but he also doesn't think it changes much. For years, he and many other doctors have taken high-risk factors into consideration before prescribing pills. Diabetes, smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, family history, poor lifestyle, poor diet. Each one changes your risk of heart attack or stroke, estimated by an American Heart Association calculator. Say she's not a smoker, her risk drops to less than 10%. Let's say this individual has diabetes, it goes up to 20%, a huge jump just because of that one risk factor. Which is why regardless of the official recommendation, Silverman says the number one goal should always be to get ahead of what you can control. I would hope that they could say to themselves, I won't need the aspirin if I take care of the other issues that I know are bad. November 8th is the day the task force will close the public comment period before issuing its advice. And Dr. Silverman thinks when that happens, it will be similar to what it is now. He estimates it will be modified to people ages 40 to 59 who are at a great cardiovascular risk. The Morning News will be right back.